Konnichiwa. Right on schedule. You know, it was that point, when this script came along, it was that point in the pandemic, like five, six months in, when there was just kind of this air of depression. People were, we were all getting a little stir crazy. And it read this really, really funny piece. I, I think I got to the, by the Bad Bunny scene and I was, I laughed out loud and that was it. It also concurrently was with an old friend of mine, Mr. Dave Leach. Because what's really I, funny about this piece, it's not about characters supporting, you know, one main person. Everyone's got their own agenda and they all clash and every, everyone here is such a high degree of talent that it was, um, uh, we had a lot of good laughs. Deer Creek International Business Solutions, how can I help you? I am ready. Well, that's great, Ladybug. Ladybug? The new operational name. Oh, I see what you're doing. Ladybug's supposed to be lucky. Ha! You don't have bad luck. First of all, he's a chump. And <laughs> the chump is the most fun role to play. Yeah. Hands down, the chump. But no, this was... he. We kind of pictured, it was, listen, the, the DNA for him was all in, in Zach's writing, but it, we, kind of, we kind of thought it, like maybe he was coming from a, maybe a mental breakdown, certainly an absence from work, and maybe he'd had a couple of months of therapy under his belt, and therefore he thought he had all the answers and life is just going to be peachy keen and roses, and we can solve conflict peacefully. And uh, this doesn't, this doesn't go. Ladybug's lines really do sound like like a 22 year old going through like a self discovery. <laughs> exactly, exactly. The sad thing is that's pretty much where I am in life. <laughs> What's happening to your face? Maybe there was a little head trauma. Maybe. Oh, no! I, I gotta get off this train. First of all, Sandy's a dear old friend. Sandy is someone I can call on for, for any favor, and she's always there. She'll drop whatever she's doing, and she's done me some really big favors. Okay. And so with this came along. We thought it'd be really cool to, to call her again for another favor. <laughs> and she did, but this time she said, but I got something as well in return. And that was, that was, her, that was her and Channing's film. I, just, I like this idea that we can cross-pollinate each other's projects and, and anyway she's a dear old friend I love her to <laughs> yeah. uh, uh, getting up in the morning is difficult yeah early hours but really I mean this one I don't know the banter the, the, the hanging out with these guys was um Pretty automatic, pretty much a pleasure. Mostly. Most, most of the time. Mostly. I have mostly good memories of you all. Um, <laughs> you work with the best. There's just, um, there's yeah. just some, these, these rhythms that happen that is just, that, are, that is so much fun that you go home at the end of the day and feel really, really fulfilled. I gotta say, the technology is amazing. If you think of like an old Hitchcock movie with a rear projection with someone in the car, now what we, what we were able to do, what they designed was, Massive video walls, like three car lengths long, 20 feet tall, I don't know how tall. And they'd film the entire journey from Tokyo to Kyoto. So we'd have this moving in, in the outside the window, so it, we didn't feel stagnant at all. I'm gonna shit their pants! Yeah, <laughs> I like that. So if you're constipated, <laughs> this is the movie. This is the one that'll, that'll loosen you up. Have you tried these smart toilets? Stop playing with the toilet. <laughs> <laughs>